What is up guys, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you by creating an awesome graphical user interface GUI program using Python Tkinter. Actually I'm going to make the code very basic, like even not even object oriented because you must learn object oriented in future because object oriented is the future actually. So I'm going to make a pretty basic application like that to get your entry and does stuff with your entry. So let's begin. First we must need the Tekinter module. From Tekinter import everything. So after that let's define our window. Our window is going to be root. Root equals to tk root uh, I'm really sorry root dot title and let's say our title is new application that will give the title to your main window or your application now let's say the geometry like the resolution of your application so root dot geometry and let's give it 640 times 640 plus 0 plus 0 and let, let me explain this is x not multiply because if you do the multiply from your keyboard it's it is going to give you an error but the alphabetical x acts as a multiply in this case and plus zero plus zero gives the coordinate like where it should start from its starting point it, it will be left corner top left corner so now let's end this loop so this is the basic uh, basic GUI program in a Python that will create a window so let's just run it first to show you the idea so uh, since I'm using Ubuntu I must use this commands to run my run my program so if you are in Windows then you can simply just double click on the file and run ls Python 3 I'm really sorry I went in the Django so it's tkinter project1.py so as you can see, okay, I haven't saved it first. I'm really sorry. Okay, I have saved it now. So let's run it again. And as you can see, this is new applications. Since I've had dual monitor set up, so it was starting on my next monitor, but it was starting on the top left corner at the 0, 0, 0 coordinate so that what it is it's the new application it's our title and the window 640 times 640 so let's end this and go on further coding <coughs> now let's add a label label a heading since heading is a label we're going to use label inside the root mistakes is going to be welcome to the let's give it a million dollar app welcome to the million dollar app i mean i don't know it's it's not a million dollar app but let's give it a name font equals Arial. let's give it 40 this is the style for that text the font should be Arial font size i mean it's not should be but you can select from different sans serif vadana and all but just for the general idea I'm selecting Arial with font size 40 and font weight bold now let's select the foreground color I mean the text color that is let's give it steel blue and to make it so in the window we must pack place or grid since it is not a frame it's just a simple window we're gonna pack it in and let's run it again where is our terminal okay as you can see here is our greeting heading welcome to the million dollar app and this is a steel blue color you can mess around with different colors so next on let's have another label label for entry let's say label one and it goes inside root and text equals enter your name we're gonna make it pretty basic so font is going to be let's give it again Arial and I'm really sorry let's give it 25 or 20 let's give it bold again it's really good 
fg equals to let's give it light green dot let's use place place works on the coordinates you must know the coordinates like x equals to zero and y equals to zero is this point top left corner starting x equals to 10 is like going towards right y equals to 10 going towards down it's like that it's just a coordinate so let's place it in x equals to 10 10 coordinates y equals to let's give it on 200 and let's save it and let's run it again and as you can see it's not clear into your name so let me just change the color to wait let's change it to black it's okay so okay here is our enter your name label x equals to i mean x equals to 10 i guess yeah there's a little space it's little and 200 means this much space those are the coordinates 10 200 now let's create an entry box where you can enter your name for that let's name it our entry box equals to entry it's that is that simple it goes inside root and text variable equals to name and for that we must define the string variable with uh, name equals to string var what it does is creates a string of this name which will set the value of this entry box i mean the entry that you have done in this entry box will be stored in this name and let's give it further something like width equals to 25 let's give it a uh, background color light green and let's place it in so let's place it in just right towards this label so since it is x equals to 10 we must create x equals to enter your name that means let's give it 300 because space is really s small so y equals to 200 let's try we must do it several times to make it perfect it's okay it's really good you can mess around with creating a bit down and a bit left okay wait and a bit down let's give it 210 a bit left 280 let's give 280 done <coughs> and let's run it again okay as you can see it's really great now you can type in what you want so that is our name but it doesn't do any work but the whatever we tap in this entry box is stored in name now let's create a button that does the actual work let's name the button work that goes inside root with text equals to let's give it text also work it will do some work like a function let's give it a width equals to 25 now let's give it 30 height equals to 5 bz equals to light blue and command command equals to let's give it do it command equals to do it dot place let's place it in x equals to 250 y equals to 300 so here we have defined a function command do it it will do the function do it but we haven't created that function now let's create define do it whenever we click the button whenever we click this work button it will do this command do it we haven't kept any command over here right now so let's just say for right now let's just print just to give you the basic idea how to work for now if I press this button it's gonna do this command which is do it and what does do it do print hello world let's save it and run it and again so here we are here is our button and enter your name so let's gonna just enter and then let's press work as you can see over here hello world whenever I type I mean press that button it's gonna type this hello world see hello world it's really awesome <coughs> but now 
to do something really great I mean to use this name what should we do let's say print hello I will put some space plus okay name it, it is string so you don't have to put the command string let's see if it works without any errors oh my god oh. uh, as pies on three what is it to kinder to kinder project okay sorry you got th om mm, done and here we are okay just see carefully over this side i'm gonna enter my name Okay. Vivek, work. We can't convert a string variable to string implicitly. Okay. I know what is our error. No, no, let's not close this one. We must convert this string variable into a proper string in order to bind it with this hello. So I'm gonna convert this name into a string. And here's one more this one. Let's save it and let's run it again. There should be no errors. Okay, just keep your eyes over there. And I'm typing my name. Let's work. Hello, py var zero. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, um, um, I'm really sorry. That's not what it is. <coughs> the main error is actually we must use a different command to get the name. Name dot get and it's actually already a string but to be more secure let's give it a string again and done so now it must work really sorry for that inconvenience and um, let's try this into your name work hello be back it's working now you can type whatever you want hello john hello john it's working hello 9867 Hello 967. <laughs> See, it works. It converts this into a string. So that is how we do it. How, that is how we get the things, I mean the entry from an entry box and use it differently. And you can even create a level with it, but that's for the next video next time. So until then please like, subscribe and leave a comment of course. Thanks for watching.